Guys, I'm not even going to do an intro. I'm just so annoyed. And I usually don't want to use my platform for stuff like this, but I have to use my platform right now because I'm really annoyed and I just can't, I feel like I can't get through to anybody and I can't get help. For those who know, um, a lot of people know my friend Deb, my friend Tom, Audrey, like a lot of people know I've been talking about the fraudulent charges that have been on my account since September 17th. Somebody stole my card in the Uber and processed the payment for $617.47 and $500. You guys, I'm so sorry. I had to vent to somebody and I'm going to vent right here on my on, on YouTube. But I have been fighting back and forth all the way since, since September 17th with Chime. And now let me tell you something. At Chime, I've never had a problem with them. I've banked with them for about four years, four or five years, maybe even more. Never had a problem with them. So somebody all of a sudden steals my card and charges it to a progressive and pays car insurance, okay? Pays car insurance, which I never owned a car a day in my life. I owned one car, and that was a long time ago. That was in 2000. And... Never paid a car insurance a day in my life. So Progressive, I contact Progressive. Progressive still let me know that there's nothing that they can do. It's a bank to bank transaction. Shout out to Tanika and the fraud department at Progressive. Progressive, if you're looking at this, y'all need to go ahead and give her a promotion because she stayed on me and tried to fight with me with these claims. I've talked to so many reps in the, the chime department and the dispute department, apparently. She, in the dispute department, I talked to Carla. Carla, which is a, um, a supervisor in the dispute department, hung up on me yesterday. And today I talked to Sophie. Sophie, who's, who's a manager in the dispute department, gave me the runaround a thousand times. A thousand times. She gave me a run around saying that she's going to send me back information. So Tanika, which is the progressive young lady, the rep at progressive in the fraud department, she works these claims. She works stuff like this. So she said to Sophie, she said, all you have to do is fill out a form, send it over. They deal with progressive deals with JP Morgan. We do. All you have to do is send over the form stating that this, your customer did not authorize charges on his account, but y'all, and then they'll automatically just refund the money back. Because, and so they can do the investigation. And so, for some reason, Carla, nor Sophie, or anyone in Chime's dispute department could not do that simple task, which I don't understand because I work in insurance. I work in basically in health insurance. And I, I, I was like the accounts follow up, a rep follow up, or follow up insurance, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I know how I can. You can, there's ways that you can get into different departments and email different departments to get type claims paid and stuff like that. There's got to be a way that she could have gotten in touch with the manager and the investigative team with Chime. And let me just say something to the CEO of Chime, Chris Britt. You are going to have major problems if this continues to happen, especially if you run into someone like me who thinks it's not, it's not tolerable to do that. My bank account is overdrawn by $1,100 of charges that I did not authorize. I did not authorize these charges, so I don't understand why they continuously put these charges on my account. It makes no sense. And then they keep saying that my dispute is not a good case. I've never made a charge to Progressive a day in my life, so I don't understand why someone in the investigative team cannot take control of this and get their hands why they can't contact JP Morgan, which is the bank of progressive, send a form. I sent a government, I, I, a government issue. <sighs> Lord God, I sent a government. I'm getting so frustrated. I sent a, a, a letter through the government to Chime that stated that there were fraudulent charges and someone stole my car. Now today, I'm gonna have to go out and get a police report. Apparently, that's what Tanika was saying. So she can try to help me out more than what Chime is. So now she's kind of doing Chime's job. So Chime, first, great. Love you. Did not want to bank with anyone else because it was a good experience. But now this experience and having to run around, if I have to go through this to get fraudulent charges off of my account, I would not want to bank with you guys. This is freaking ridiculous. I have no job. I'm getting paid off of unemployment. I need every coin that I can get. And, and you guys are taking my money, basically. It's the first of the month. I have to pay phone bills, like everything. And you are inconveniencing me by not helping me out. I 100% do not understand. And truthfully, I can't get in contact with anyone. So the only outlet that I had to really try to get in contact with anyone for somebody to see is to make it public and publicize it 
on how bad of business we're doing right now because nobody can get in contact with the investigative department. Nobody in the disputes department can take care of a fraudulent charges. This is absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And Chris Brett, I believe his name is, please, I hope you see this. I loved your company at first, but now you need to, un you need to adjust some things in your discrepant in, in the department of disputes in the department of investigation when it comes to fraudulent charges and Tanika said it best herself in progressive she says you're going to have a whopping lawsuit if you keep doing this to people who are saying that they did not have um they did not authorize a charge uh, I, like i said i don't even have a car i wish to god i had a car i can't afford no car i can't damn sure can't afford a payment of 500 and 600 dollars it's just not happening. And I'm so frustrated and so upset because now I'm being crippled financially. It is horrible. I have absolutely not one coin in the bank because of some stupid fraudulent charges. And like I said, I'm not working. Okay. I don't have a job. I get paid unemployment, which is a measly $329 every week that automatically goes to rent, automatically goes to paying bills. And obviously, my bills are higher than three hundred and twenty-nine. Now, like it's just baffling. Chris Britt, if you're out there, please help me. Please, y'all. I don't know if any other bankers are out there that knows what steps I can take. If you work for a bank, let me know what steps I can take to get these fraudulent charges. Because I've never had to go through this much to get a fraudulent charge off of my account. As soon as you say that it was not you, usually they refund your money and then they go ahead and do an investigation and make sure that investigation is done to the t apparently chimes department with fraudulent charges is not up to par because they're not doing that i mean i don't know how many times there's not one progressive charge on my account for the years that i've had progressive and they keep saying that the i, I don't know somebody please help me out somebody at chime help me out in the investigative department this is putting a very, very bad name on you guys. Like, it's just really sucks. It really sucks. Really, really, really sucks. <sighs> For a month, I've been fighting this. For a month. I'm so upset. Y'all, tag Chris Britt. Reach out to Chris Britt for me. Something, somebody, so I can get some type of help. I love y'all so much, man. I hope y'all having a blessed day. Please spread positivity, love, and light. I hate that I had to get on here and do this. Because y'all know, like, y'all know how I am. That's not me. Like, you know what I'm saying? So please, y'all. I love y'all. I love her. Take care.